We're at the Hampton Inn and Suites, Anaheim Convention Center near Disneyland, room 523. It's a king room. It's a rather large room. This is a two queen room. You walk in to the right, you have a closet with a pretty large safe. Got a lot of stuff in there, laptop, the ironing board, iron, looks like extra blanket. And there is a barn door for the bathroom that covers the closet when it's opened and it's used to close off the bathroom. Over to the left, you have the table here with a coffee maker. And you have some coffee. And then some little stool type things to sit on down below. And then you have this dresser with a TV on it. And this dresser, this first one, you have drawers that pull out baskets, more like it. And in the middle here, you have a microwave with an ice bucket. It's nice to have a microwave. And the third one, you have a refrigerator where you can put your own stuff in. But you do have a desk with a chair and a lamp. On the lamp, you do have an outlet as well as a USB outlet plug. And then you also have more outlets over here with two USB outlets plus a network jack. So lots of places to charge your devices or plug in your chargers, computers, and so forth. And here we have the air conditioning heating unit. The controls are on this unit here. Even though they have this control on the wall over here, this doesn't do anything. So I'm not sure if that's future or they're going to use that or they used to use that. But you do change the uh, controls over on the actual air conditioning heating unit. Then on the right side you have two queen beds. In the middle you have a little table with a clock, the phone, a USB charging outlet, and then two regular outlets. Right by the door is the bathroom, single sink, a lot of counter space, towels, Neutrogena shampoo and conditioner, your toilet, you have the tub shower combination. This room is actually pretty big, a lot of space. There are big windows on this wall. And they do have two shades. It looks like there's like a blackout shade that's white behind, and then a more kind of see-through type shade. And this is the view at night. I mean, not much of a view. They do have parking, gated. It costs $22 a night. It also is a complimentary breakfast in the morning. So it's convenient. It's right near the Toy Story parking lot for Disney. And I guess you could park here if you're staying longer or walk over there and take the bus from the Toy Story lot over to Disney. Um, they don't check any tickets or anything or that you parked in the Toy Story lot um, when you're there. So I guess you could do that. Or you could walk, you know, walk to Disney from here as well, I guess. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment down below.